good morning. Hello, my name is Jesse Mackling, the Director of Education for the Center for Coastal Studies in Provincetown, Massachusetts. And this is Thursday's edition of Cool Marine Animals I Have Seen. Um, I hope we don't have a glitch for like yesterday where we cut out. I think there was a little internet snafu. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about one of the, my favorite and coolest marine animals that I've ever seen. Um, originally, I was going to talk about one species, uh, but I think um, that most of all these species are cool, even though I haven't seen uh, close to 300 known species of these. Um, so I'm going to talk about them collectively today. Um, there's a lot to talk about, um, and I won't get on anything, but they're certainly one of my favorite marine animals and one that you have probably, uh, most people out there have probably eaten more than they've actually seen. And um, I'm talking about uh, the smartest invertebrate on our planet, and that, of course, is the octopus. So let's get started. Um, so how do you exactly say multiple species of octopus? Um, I, I looked this up. There's lots of question about the, the name. So I'm going to use octopuses to describe the multiple species. Octopi is apparently considered grammatically incorrect because the word octo meaning eight and pus meaning foot from the Greek uh, or it comes from the Greek and not Latin. So we'll use octopuses today. Um, they are mollusks. They're in the phylum mollusks. They are invertebrates. They're found throughout the world's oceans from shallow reefs uh, to, to the deep abysmal plain. Um, and they are cephalopods, so uh, which is a type of mollusk, cephalopods. Uh, other types of cephalopods include squid, cuttlefish, and nautiluses. Um, they're characterized by having arms, not tentacles, but arms, and bilateral symmetry, meaning that two halves are identical. Uh, so octopuses are found, as I mentioned, throughout the world's oceans. They inhabit many different marine habitats from the great depths of the abyssal plains, so deep down in the oceans to shallow coral reefs. There are even species of octopus found in the Arctic. That was that was news to me. Um, and one species is actually uh, known to live only at deep thermal vents, uh, which are hot vents in, in places uh, in the deep ocean where there's a variety of life. Octopuses are, however, only found in seawater. There are no freshwater octopuses. And this is um, the same for most cephalopods, although there is one species of squid that I believe lives in sort of uh, mix between salt and fresh water. Uh, octopuses range in size um, from very small, um, a star sucker pygmy uh, octopus, which is less than 2.5 centimeters or one inch and weighs less than one gram, to the giant Pacific octopus, which averages 15 kilograms or 33 pounds and can measure up to 4.3 meters or 14 feet. Of course, I did read reports of um, giant octopus growing, uh, giant Pacific octopus growing up to 272 kilos or 600 pounds with a nine meter or 30 foot wings arm span. So that's a pretty big octopus. Um, but most species are, are not quite that big. Um, not all um, octopuses have their familiar long arms. Um, these Dumbo type of octopuses, uh, like the one seen here, um, are quite different. Many of these species live at, at deep depths. Um, they're quite um, sort of funny looking and quite amazing. Um, this species here um, lives in a deep abyssal plain from 1,000 to, to 4,300 meters or more than 13,000 feet deep. Octopuses have no ex internal skeleton. The only hard part is, is um, their beak and their soft bodies allow these, these animals to squeeze into small cracks and crevices uh, where they hunt for things or they escape predators. Of course, there are multiple stories out there of captive octopuses um, squeezing into small areas to escape. Uh, after this, I recommend Googling octopus escape. It's quite funny. One of the most famous was an octopus named Sid who lived in an aquarium in, in New Zealand um, who tried to escape and was gone for several days in a drainage system uh, that pumped in seawater. Uh, Sid was eventually released back into the wild after, after its many uh, escape attempts. Octopuses have three hearts, one that pumps blood through the body and the two that pump blood through the gills. Um, and they have the highest 
um, brain to body mass ratio of any invertebrate. Um, they have a highly complex nervous system. Um, interesting, not all of that is located in the brain. About two thirds of the octopus's neurons are located in their arms. The arms of octopuses can actually send signals to other arms bypassing the brain entirely. And the suckers on the arms acquire sensory and motor information from their environment. Um, and the arms can process this without using the brain. They have very good eyesight, though not, um, they're not thought to see colors, but they can distinguish the polarization of light. Octopuses have rel relatively short lifespans, um, some species as little as six months, uh, while the giant Pacific octopus may live up to five years. Uh, reproduction is what determines their lifespan, as males can only live a few months after mating, while females die shortly after her eggs hatch. Um, the reproduction of octopus has only been studied in a few species, namely the giant Pacific um, octopus. Um, octopuses lay between, um, the Pacific lays between 10 and 70,000 eggs, other species between around 200 or even up to 400,000 eggs. And the females remain with the eggs, aerating them and protecting them until they hatch, uh, after which the female, which hasn't eaten, will then die. Um, and it's important. Um, because this can last for months. Uh, in the giant Pacific octopus, it's five to six months. Other species is up to 10 months. Um, if the eggs are left unattached or un unattended, the eggs will not hatch. Um, most of uh, octopus larvae, like this one here, uh, will eventually become food for something else in the ocean as, as it's floating around plankton before it grows up. Um, octopuses themselves are carnivores. They move by crawling or swimming. They eat clams, worms, snails, lobsters, shrimp, fish, sharks, and even birds. Um, after this, look up some videos of giant Pacific octopus eating birds. It's quite fascinating. Um, and they're masters of camouflage, of course. They use this for hunting and avoiding predators. Uh, there's, there's great videos out there of octopuses uh, changing color and using camouflage. Um, as you can hardly see here, this is an image that I just took recently on a dive trip. Um, can you, can you, not sure if the image is up yet. It's a little delayed. Um, let's see if you can spot the octopus there. Um, it's hard to see. Um, I've seen them change colors. It's pretty amazing um, when you, you see that and you see them just become one with a rock that they're on. Um, they, they use specialized skin cells, uh, which it basically changes the appearance of the skin. Um, in addition to using this for hunting and uh, avoiding predators, they also use this to communicate with other octopuses or, or to warn them away. Some octopuses actually live in large groups, while many others are solitary. And of course, octopuses are, are eaten by a number of, of animals, um, including birds, um, cetacean seals, otters, uh, fish, uh, sharks, and other cephalopods. Octopuses are incredibly intelligent. Um, one of the thought to be the most intelligent um, of all invertebrates. Um, this is a picture of one opening a jar. Um, they can distinguish between different shapes and patterns. Um, they've been observed engaged in what is known as play, um, doing things just simply for fun. Um, they've shown evidence of short-term and long-term memory and maze and problem-solving experience experiments. And um, their escape stories, as I mentioned before, are legendary. Um, um, read up on some, um, some escape stories of octopuses. It's quite amazing what they can do and, and where they can live. Um, and they've also been observed using tools. Uh, this octopus here uh, collects coconut shells and uses them in shelter. So it's the observed tool use of an invertebrate. It's pretty amazing. So there's many cool and interesting things. Um, about these animals, I could keep talking for a long time. There's there's so many cool things. I love them. Um, I'm so pleased when I'm if I'm diving and happen to see an octopus. Um, it's just really amazing. Uh, but I'll end with one experience for me. Uh, I believe it was my first octopus. Um, it was a number of years ago in Indonesia, and th this picture isn't the best picture, um, but. Um, this is a blue, a type of blue ring octopus, and uh, 
uh, our dive master came across this and pointed it out to myself and three other divers. Um, and this this animal, which is one of the most venomous animals uh, in the marine world, it holds enough venom to kill 26 adults, um, was probably the most mesmerizing thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, myself and the other divers just sort of hovered there looking at this amazing creature um, that, that contained enough venom to easily have killed us. Uh, they're generally quite small, um, five to eight inches or 12 to 20 centimeters. This one happened to be about an inch or 2.5 centimeters. And it was truly one of the most mesmerizing, beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. This picture doesn't do it justice. Um, it flashed its blue rings probably because the dive master was moving it with a stick. Um, but it was truly one of the most amazing things. And every time I see them, I consider myself lucky. They're just super, um, super cool and, and amazing marine animals. Um, and, and one that I, I, I hope to see um, again and again. So that's all for today. Um, I wanna thank you for joining me. A couple of recommendations out there if you're looking for good books, there's a great book called Soul of the Octopus. Um, about a the author's experience with um, mostly with captive octopus at the New England Aquarium, which is quite interesting. Um, there's great videos out there about octopus eating birds and all octopus escape and all sorts of things. Um, and one last recommendation is look up a tiny um, uh, Google uh, was known as a tiny pink octopus, um, which actually has the scientific name of um, Adoriablis. So. Um, meaning adorable octopus. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. Stay safe and healthy. And please join me tomorrow for another cool marine animal I have seen. So, so long and have a good afternoon.